Greetings. Um, my name is George Silvis. I'm a member of the AVSO and part of the AVSO net team. Um, what I want to do here is show you how to use the standard darks uh, script for collecting your dark calibrations. This is a script that we use on the AVSO net and I think it could be handy for anybody who's running a system which has Maxim DL as the image uh, managing software. So let me, let's get started. I'm gonna start off by sharing my screen so you can in fact see what I see. And so let's begin. Um, I'm on a system called BSM New Mexico and it's, um, it's nighttime, 10.30, and um, the scope is not operating, so I'm going to uh, take, the, take advantage of uh, collecting the darks at this time. In general, you wanna do your dark collection at night. You wanna avoid any kind of light leakage, and safest way is to do it when it's dark. Um, so let's first find the script. And let's see, for the AVSO, it's always here. Now this script, I'm, I will also include with the, um, in the forum post, uh, so you can examine it and in fact use it. Um, it's a visual uh, basic script, fairly straightforward. Uh, nice thing about these is, these things is, are that they are text files and you can edit them and change them as you need. Um, so you can take a look at, see what techniques are used here. So on a Windows system, if you double click it, it should run. It'll be recognized as a script. And there it is. So it fired up. It says, okay, I actually, first step it does is it looks for the camera and it says, yeah, I, I know the, the camera and it's good. The second thing is it wants to find a place to store the, uh, the images, the dark calibration images. So we actually have to create that in advance. So, and it does re remember where it did the last set. So I'm going to, Oops. We'll go here. Let's go to where we store things. Data. Calibration. Let's create a directory here. The date's 15, so we're going to call it 2020. Make it descriptive. Now let's uh, collect that name. And let's feed it into the script. Where's the script? Oh, this is an old Windows 7 system, so it's a little awkward. There we go. Okay, um, on this system, we're not gonna zip, zip the files, obviously no. The binning is gonna be two. Now, when you collect darks, you're gonna have, have to take them at a number of different exposures and the different counts. So this is what we call a schedule. 
the AVSO net has a standard schedule and you're welcome to take a look at that. Uh, the schedule says we're gonna take them at one second, 10 seconds, 100, 330, 300 seconds, and then zero second, which are the bias. You can set your own list here, but for that list of exposures, you need to also set, well, how many for each one. And we, AVSO net, our, our protocol is to take a lot. So of uh, those one second, we're gonna take 80 one second shots, 80 10 second shots, 40 100 second shots. So you need to set the list and we're gonna end up with 100 bias shots. This is like 490 images. And in fact, the script will warn you that this looks like a five hour job, so be prepared. So you say yes. The uh, temperature here, I need images at minus 10 centigrade. So, so that's what the goal is here right now. So right now, the temperature, it all already reached out to the camera and said, hey, okay, we're gonna run this at minus 10, the set point's minus 10 here. And this is really suspicious. How can the sensor temp temperature be minus 10? So I'm not believing this at all. So I'm gonna, the script is just sitting here waiting for me to say yes or no. So I can actually turn off the cooler, disconnect the camera, connect the camera. Let's try it again and turn on the cooler. Okay, this is looking more rational. Sensor cooler power is coming up slowly. Sensor temperature apparently it had been cooling. So you really do want to do some checking here, make sure the camera is responding in an appropriate fashion. So we can see that it is warming up, but the cooler's power is going up. So I have some confidence that it's going to actually achieve the minus 10. So going back to the script. Now you could sit here and manually watch and stabilize the temperature, but the, the script will actually handle this for you. So let's say, okay. Now we need to make sure the camera is in dark mode. So we can go to the camera, expose, we're gonna take a single shot of just one second, but we wanna see it in dark mode. Start. Okay, and in fact, this is set up, this camera doesn't have a, its own shutter or anything like that. So it will ask, which is why we have to do this process. Okay, so it is now in dark mode. We just did an example shot. Okay, that's fine. Looking at the camera, cooler power is coming up. Temperature is going up or down. It's, oh, okay, it is going down. So we did this, say yes, current temperature is minus nine and we're going to start automatically let's just sit here for a moment make sure it's totally stable Power is still increasing. We've achieved the minus 10. I'm just looking to see if we have any overshoot. Well, she actually decided that it's ready to start. So this display here will show progress. So there are seven different sets, different exposure lengths. We're in the first of seven and there's 80 shots in this set and we're on the third of 80. The exposure is one second, and then on this side, there's a countdown. The, the negative countdown is just the, the waiting period in between. So it waits four or five seconds, 
counts down, starts, runs, bang, and we're on to the next one. You get you can also monitor the temperature here, but basically this is just gonna run. And you leave it here, it'll run for five hours, and then it'll warm up the camera and disconnect it. So that's what the process looks like. Um, the images are collected. Um, if you're using MFM, uh, a calibration management uh, software, it's perfectly happy to accept these uh, 490 dark images and create masters for you. Um, since Maxim is displaying the image, why don't we just go back down so we can just see the whole image. So this is what the dark images look like. This is a uh, CMOS camera. So that's what's involved in running the standard darks.vbs. Hope it's useful to you. You're always welcome to ask questions and I'll try to help. Good day. I mean, good night. How do I get out? All right. Close that. And we'll stop share. And now, good night.